his phrase, make New Zealand a place where talent wants to live, has, has become a kind of a motto. I don't suppose he would have been regarded as a genius. Like, he wasn't put, he wasn't put forward three years because he could um, recite pi to 3,000 decimal places or anything like that. But he just had a, 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 a thirst for knowledge and to find stuff out. His big banger that he let off in the mouth of the Jury Hill Tunnel, the explosion and the echoes were absolutely prodigious. In many countries, I think he would have, you know, we would have had him on the, on a postage stamp or on a, you know, on our currency. His impact in a huge array of different types of scientific fields has been massive. He was well respected for his science, but on the other hand, he was a passionate New Zealander. Paul was as close to a Renaissance man as we're likely to find in the modern world. He, of course, was an absolutely committed and extraordinarily knowledgeable physicist, uh, but he could talk to people about anything. I'm a kind of a contrary individual in some ways. I'm a, I'm a mixture of um, you know, tendencies pulling in different directions, and there's a sense of paradox uh, 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 that I live with all the time that way. And the only way I can satisfy that is by um, being broader than just one aspect of my profession. Mm -hmm.